please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. <laughs> Greetings and salutations to you, my beautiful nerds. It is I, Rachel S. How's it going? I have another brilliant box for you for you today in the January series. Yes, we are still cracking on with that. It's from the wonderful people of Nihon Box, my absolute favourite box at the moment. And yes, I have been dying to open this box because there's some great animes in this uh, month's box. And yes, I need to open it like right now. Uh, so the theme of this box is uh, Best of All New Year's. So it's all to do with uh, being in New Year's with your best friend. So uh, far as I remember in this box, there was uh, Beastars, which I really need to open because I just finished season two a few weeks ago. Really good. Hope they do another series. Uh, Demon Slayer, which I absolutely adore. Pokemon and hopefully some other cool stuff. So yay, I could die to get this open. It's really heavy, so fingers crossed we've got some amazing merchandise in here and goodies. Uh, so if you've not got Nihon Box before or watched any of my videos, uh, a Nihon Box is uh, roughly about £25 to the UK plus a little bit additional for shipping. Uh, you get anime items, you're usually guaranteed at least a figure or a good plushie each month. You get a traditional Japanese item such as crockery or charms and at least one Japanese snack. So if you're a Japanophile like me, and you love anime, you love the culture of Japan, get this box. I highly recommend it. So yay. So I'm dying to crack this open. So I'm just going to take off the top sheet, which usually indicates who's in the box. So, so there's a little New Year's cow, because obviously this year was the year of the ox. So we have uh, Pikachu there. There's uh, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer and uh, Legacy from uh, Beastars. So, yeah, just a little bit of a teaser. So, and we have our pamphlet. And uh, on each pamphlet, there is a little bit of uh, Japanese history, or sometimes it'll be about anime. Uh, so, it's all about the uh, Taniki and Kitsune. Uh, and if you've watched uh, the Ghibli film Pompoko, you'll probably know it about them more. Uh, Kitsune are fox spirits, and uh, Taniki are raccoon shape shifting spirits. So, it's all about those little uh, yokai on the back so i'm going to pop that there in case i need any uh, information so without further ado let's get into this box because i'm dying to see who's in it so first up feels like a paper item so da -jung. so oh <laughs> so first up we have the japanese i can't talk the traditional japanese item so I'm not sure what this is. Oh, on the back. Oh, it's a miniature traditional kite. So that's really cool. I actually last week was walking around my local park and I saw some people flying kites. It was actually pretty cute. So it's of a sort of traditional uh, sort of warrior pattern. I'm not quite sure who this guy is, but it might say on the leaflet. And it says handmade folk craft. So this would be kind of cool to see. I'm going to leave it in the packet for now because I don't want it to fall apart in case I need to put it together. But I love the art on it, it's very striking. Uh, so this is the flying kite or tako. Uh, in Japan, New Year's is most important, the most important celebration of the year. With many traditions and one of them is typically flying a kite like the one in your box. You can make it fly or use it as a decoration. So I will probably use it as a decoration because I love the art on that, it's really cool. Uh, but I would be tempted to fly it, but unfortunately there's just a very light breeze outside. So most it's going to get is about two centimetres off the air. <laughs> so that's like number one. So that's really super cool. Right, so let's have a dig around. I'm going to try and go for the small items next. So we have a box and oh, okay. Oh, these are cute. Okay, that's why they're on about foxes and Taniki. We have a Taniki and Kitsune little trading figure. So here's the front of the box. Sorry if my camera's not focusing at the minute. The sunlight's coming in. It's making the focus a bit funny. So they're all little glass hanger figurines. So there's little Taniki. There's ones of the foxes hanging on to the raccoon. Uh, so the Kitsune and various other ones. So let's see who we got. So... <sighs> I don't know the characters' names, unfortunately, unless these are popular or if these are just a random set. So, oh, I got a little fox spirit dressed as a tanuki. So I'm just going to come up to the camera. 
So here's our little figure. Look at that face. Isn't that adorable? Sorry, I'm just going to put my hand in front. So he's wearing the little costume and he looks very worried. So you can hang him on the edge of the glass and he looks all cute while you're drinking. So that's cute. I thought it would have had candy in it because usually with these figures they have candy in it so they could be put in the toy and they're not in the toy aisle, they're in the candy aisle where you know kids will grab them. But he ain't really super tiny and cute. <laughs> Sorry about my voice guys, I just need a quick drink because my throat is parched, it's really dry outside. Pardon me, so <clears throat> that's better. Uh, right, so this was from the um, Potito Tanaki Tokitsune series. So Tanaki Tokitsune is a very popular Japanese manga that has been available in hard copy since 2016. The manga tells the story of a, a Tanaki and Kitsune, two very important animals in Japanese folklore. These kawaii buddies are the theme of this Petito minifigure collection, perfect to style with your drinking glasses. So yay, <laughs> really super cute. I'll probably put them on my little Sailor Moon glass I have next to my bed where I have all my little glassing figures sat in. So yay, really adorable. So let's carry on. So next up, ooh, we have our snake. Hopefully this is still in date and it looks like a chestnut, some sort of pastry. So I have to see if there's a expiry date on it. And yes, there is. Uh, it ran out of date last month, unfortunately, but uh, fingers crossed it might still be okay. Uh, I'm not going to eat these now because I'll probably eat these with some tea or make sure they're actually okay first because they're wrapped in packaging. Uh, so these are Monica, uh, Chestnut and Mochi. So Monica are a delicious Japanese pastry made of two waffles that are usually stuffed with sweet red bean paste. Oh, I love red bean paste. Um, the very original version also contains chestnut and chewy mochi rice cake bits, which is a new year must eat. So yay, I'm going to check if these are all right first and then enjoy them. Probably when I'm watching some anime because there's some really good anime out now this season. Um, I was just watching Bakuten, the... Um, gymnastics anime just before i was recording and yay yeah, it's getting good if you like your own ice watch back again it's really good so <laughs> that's all i'm going to say about that as i really want to crack on with this box so yay yeah, that was the traditional snake with the monica so ooh, there's a big box in here and a big plush in here ooh, we got a really good box this year sorry this month sorry so it feels like we've got another bowl i got a bowl literally just in my yume twins box so we have another traditional item for the looks of it and this is anime themed so ooh, this is really nice so we have a really nice lacquer bowl and it's got a sort of gold and red mount fuji on the side and some sakura in lovely red and gold really pretty i love that so i've got a lot of bowls like this now and i do love my noodles i literally just had some noodles for lunch with some uh sausages it's really tasty and it's a lovely red inside and very very pretty so i love that I'm a sucker for crockery with anything Japanese on it. So uh, this is the uh, Mount Fuji Miso Bowl. Okay, I love me some miso. Uh, Mount Fuji is one of the symbols of Japanese New Year and says dreaming that on the first night of the year will bring you good luck for the rest of the year. The cute miso bowl is Mount Fuji design and will go perfectly with your Japanese dishes to bring you many um, good to bring you much good luck so yay sorry my reading's not great but yay really pretty and i super like that so really cute and you can hang your little pit snake on the side so yay there he goes <laughs> that's really cute so yay that's the miso bowl so oh feels like there's a bottle in here as well something um i'm gonna go for this next so Oh, <laughs> okay. I literally just had the matching set of chopsticks to go with this. And now I've got a bento box. It's a Pokemon bento. That's so awesome. Okay, I love bento boxes. I have a lot now and I use them pretty much every day for work. I'm going to keep it in the packaging for now because I know what a bento looks like inside. I usually have a separator. But yay, that's so cute and colourful. So I might have to use this for the summer because I really want to start cooking omelettes and rice again because i want to start getting back into the gym so i need to start eating a bit more healthier because i just keep eating pot noodles and junk all the time and it's not good for me at work uh so let's just have a read up so this is the uh pikachu bento box 
So here's a gorgeous bento to match your Pokemon chopsticks from November's edition. It's designed as Pikachu's face and now you're all set to try your Japanese food and enjoy it anywhere. So yay. And it's coming up to the season where I can go for picnics and we can meet outside again. Hooray! Rule of six. <laughs> I haven't had the chance to yet because all my friends live in different places but fingers crossed we can eat up for a barbecue at some point so yay really super cute and i love pokemon so that's a big plus for me right so let's see what else we got i'm gonna go for the bottle feels like a soap bottle so oh okay <laughs> it's v stars so uh i think i saw my friend um leanne has this off for sale because she usually gets me on box and she usually sells what she doesn't want just going to take off the big massive thing so here's our bottle and there's a legacy on the front with the school logo behind it i think which weirdly looks like the um logo from star trek <laughs> and yay yeah, so there's legacy with the b stars logo and his name and him looking quite you know solemn as he always is because he's quite shy so yay good to have another hand soap dispenser but i won't use it because my mum never uses them uh, so I'll probably keep it for when I get a place because um, I can't really have it at work because, you know, we're not allowed to. But <laughs> it's different, i got to say. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, so this is the Beastars Foaming Soap Dispenser. So with everything going on, washing hands can become one of our daily top priorities. And thanks to the Beastars Soap Dispenser, Legacy will be with you to make your hand washing routine enjoyable. Yeah, and wash off any, you know, blood you get on your hands from eating animals you shouldn't. <laughs> it's kind of dark. Should say that. Yay, different. So that's an interesting item, I've got to say. Right, sorry if my camera keeps jumping in and out. It's playing up a little bit, guys. So I do apologize if you're getting a bit of a jumpy sensation. Right, I'm gonna open the figure last. So I'm gonna go for the plushie. Okay, if this is a B Stars plushie, I'm really gonna flip my lid because it feels like a snout on it. And... Okay, finding Beastars merch at the minute is like a hen's teeth. Oh my god, this is adorable. Okay, I gotta show you this. Look at him, look at that cute face. Okay, I literally finished season two and I love it and I need more merch. I need so much, especially of Louie. They had two new statues come out of Legacy with the shirt off and they had, um, um, damn it, I forgot his name the deer in his suit jacket and oh my god they looked amazing but they're 300 pounds each and it's just so good but this this will do for now <laughs> so we have a cute little legacy plus and he's in his school uniform looking quite solemn as always and it's really nice and soft it's an actual really well made plush and i love the color they didn't go with gray they kind of went with this nice teal blue because in season two he goes gray because he changes his um fur color he's got his little legsies little legsies go so he can run after haru <laughs> so yeah i really like that that's that's really cool uh so this is the beastars plush of legacy so beastars has been one of our favorite manga lately and um, we took great pleasure adding this to your this plush to your uh anime box the second season was released in january the 21st and if you haven't discovered haru itagaki's unique universe do not waste another minute and watch it so yay if you haven't watched beastars watch it it's not just a furry anime it's amazing it's a murder mystery it's a comedy it's a romance you will like it go watch Beastars. it's on netflix in dub and sub and i love it so yay watch it and i love that that's so cool right i think we're down to one item and we're down to a demon slayer item to be had yet so fingers crossed it's a cool figure so let's see what we got it's quite a smallish box, but I don't care. And it's just really heavy, actually. <gasps> Nets, good job! Oh my god, I saw these on Dekai Anime yesterday. And these are like £30. Some of these are 50 This is a really good figure. And it's Netsuko chan sat on her little crate that Tanjiro carries her in. Oh my god, I'm happy. So there's these are the three in the set. So there's Tanjiro and there's uh, not, uh Zenitsu so yay I'm gonna open this up get Netsuko out and show you this figure 
Okay guys, so here's Netsuko looking super cute. This is actually a really heavy figure. So it's a proper block of resin with the figure. The box is actually hollow. It doesn't open, unfortunately. But the Netsuko is just so cute. Look at the little ribbons on the back of her feet. They're so well painted. And her hair. And even underneath, they painted all the kimono and everything. This is so cool. So I'm really happy to have got this figure. Especially with how expensive this this is as well because yeah like i said these are like 30 pounds each and yay i'm really happy i got netsuko chan because she's literally one of my favorite characters Inosuke is my favorite boy though to be fair because you know he's a little sonade and i just love sonade characters but yay that is so cool i'm really glad i got that so let's just have a look at the book uh so this is from the uh hikake demon slayer figure uh, series so really cool there was free to get so you could have gotten Tanjiro, Sunitsu or Netsuko-chan so I'm glad I got Netsuko-chan uh, so the Demon Slayer characters are back in Nihon box and they are coming in the Hakake figure collection which means hooked okay so yeah hooked on the side <clears throat> Uh, each character can be hooked on the edges of the cubes included with the box but you can also hook them onto the edge of a table or get We'll get whether oh get either Netsuko, Tanjiro or Zenitsu so I'm going to put weather not either that <laughs> confused me but yeah that's definitely probably one of my faves and obviously the legacy plush so guys that was everything in the January box and that was an amazing box I told you it's just so worth it especially that was literally the price of the whole box so that was amazing and literally the, the plush you probably pay what 20 pounds at a convention so yeah it's really good value so anyway guys before i blather just to quickly recap what we had we had the traditional new year's kite we had the monosaka chestnut cakes we had the mount fuji miso bowl which is really cool we had the little taniki kitsune figure the Pokemon Bento Box, the V-Stars Foam Pump, uh, so Soap Pump, <laughs> the Legacy V-Stars Plush, and the Ned's Good Jan figurine. So I love this. It's amazing. I I'm literally so happy, guys. I'm speechless right now. <laughs> I've got to put this away and put it with my, my collections. So, guys, anyway, what was your favourite item in this month's box? And would you have liked Ned's Go? Would you have liked Tanjiro? Oh, would you like Zenitsu? Let me know your favourite Demon Slayer character down below. And I'm going to say, for my next figure of box or manga review, I'm going to say sayonara. Stay nerdy, stay happy, and wear a mask and keep safe, my peeps. Bye!